van we chose for our summer vacation home is a Ford Econoline passenger van. We chose it for quite a few reasons. Number one being it has windows. We love the natural light and being able to open them and ventilate while we're cooking or on hot days. Number two, the size. It's quite a large van and we wanted something that I could lie down in and still have room for a little kitchen. The roof is reasonably high and it has plenty of storage when we put a bed in. Number three, it has reasonable ground clearance and large wheels. We knew we would be going on many BC forestry roads and we need to be able to get over some humps and bumps. Number four, it has a hitch allowing us to put on a bike rack cheap and easy so we can take the bikes wherever we go on our adventures. Construction on Cameron started late in winter. First we had to clean out the van, remove the seats and some of the panelling. Removing the plastic panels is not something I would recommend for everybody. It does cause a lot of problems when you want to finish the van and make it look pretty again. If you're not up to that and some extra work, I would leave the plastic panels on as they are. With Cameron stripped naked inside, it's time to add a floor. I screwed down plywood using self-tapping screws. It's important to check under the van first to make sure you're not going to put any screws into fuel lines or other fun things to hit. We chose to install the floor so we can slide our storage boxes in and out easily. Also it gives us something to attach all the inner framework to. Okay, so the bed. With previous experience, we've found that it's best to have a standard sized bed, meaning that you can get mattresses cheap and easy anywhere in town. You don't have to cut down foam or anything. Just buy a queen mattress and throw it in. The framed construction was simple but very strong. We didn't want to have any legs in the middle so that the storage under the bed is uninterrupted front to back. I constructed the bed from three different materials. 6x2s for the box frame, 2x4s for the slats and some thin ply to better support our memory foam mattress. When designing the bed we took two other things into consideration. The size of the boxes we planned to put under for storage and my height in relation to the roof. I wanted to be able to sit up comfortably in the van, but also we wanted to be able to fit reasonably sized boxes under the bed to maximize storage and keep the inside of the van clutter free. Ah, the storage cupboard. On the left side of the bed, we really wanted to maximize the storage we had. So I took to the task of building a little storage cabinet or cupboard or whatever you want to call it on the side. It was actually quite tricky because the inside of the van is not straight. So I took it piece by piece, slowly building it up. Then I framed it in with some plywood and some 4x1s. Our kitchen work area is super simple, but has been very useful for us to have a nice flat surface that we can cook on or work on the laptop or, or anything. It's a plywood bench top, painted to protect it from any spills. Then we framed it with 2x4s and supported it with another bed leg on the right side and the bed frame supports it on the left side. This gives us more front access to put more boxes in and out easily. Originally I wanted to install a ceiling so that I could control where I cut in lights and other things. As you can see, that never happened, but the ceiling definitely did. I just loved the idea of having wood all the way across. So I went ahead and put up some tongue and groove. It's definitely not hard, you just need to put up supports first and again, be careful where you're screwing to. We were lucky that the van had ribs that the original roof was attached to. So all we had to do was screw some 1x4s onto those ribs and then we had something that we could nail and glue onto. Once you get to the tongue and groove stage, it's, it's very simple, you just cut it, glue it up, nail it in and repeat all the way along. We got ourselves some offcuts of clipped together cork flooring. It's waterproof and nice and smooth, making it easier to keep the van clean. We simply glued and nailed it down to the existing plywood floor and we're good to go.
Thank you.